it's that time of year again. Yes, today I'm doing what's sort of become a, a yearly tradition, an annual tradition where we uh, look back at my loadouts that I've used this year, my final loadouts for 2022. There's definitely some big changes for some classes because of the um, cosmetics we've received this year. A lot of nice coats, um, as I'm sure you've heard me raving about if you've seen any of my unboxings. Yeah, some some have changed a lot and some have barely changed and that's that's really just how it's been. So yeah, let's just jump into it with the scout. Um, and we'll go from scout to spy and then we'll do a quick run through my backpack because that has changed drastically since the last time you've seen it. So yeah, let's jump into it. Alright then, so this is my main scout loadout. I'm very sort of unsure of what I want my main scout to look like at the moment, so this is what I've landed on for now. Um, it probably will change. I'm in the market for a scout unusual, I think. I think that's one I'll go for next, but I haven't seen any hats that really jump out to me or hats that I could afford at the moment. And yeah, for now, I'm quite happy with how my scout looks. So I'm obviously using the scatter gun, the Boston boomstick. It's been my main scout weapon for a very long time now. Um, and that's not going to change unless they bring out a very cool new scout skin. But I don't really look at weapon skins anyway, so that they might be one that tickles my fancy that I've just not seen at the moment. So for now, it's the Blue Mew, I believe. It's a festive pistol and the Rap Assassin, one of my favourite scout melees in the game, despite not being that great. We're rocking the Fuel Injector, the Wipe Out Wraps and the Prisoner Pullover as well. I'm fairly certain this is what it was like last year, but I'm not too sure. You can see them next to each other here. Not too sad with this scout loader, not too happy with it. I do want to change it, but at the moment, nothing has really um, tickled my fancy for it. Moving on to the secondary loadout. I've not touched this since I created this loadout. I think it's a very nice looking loadout. I think it works really, really well. Um, it's currently got the Force of Nature, the Bonk Atomic Punch, and the Atomizer. But yeah, I do not really use this loadout much at all. Um, but I'm a fan of this cosmetic set I put together, and I, I don't want to change it for, for a while. So I think it's pretty good at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I don't use this loadout at all. Um, got the banana fish. <laughs> yeah, this one's definitely going to need looking at, I think, if I want to make it another loadout that I want to use. But yeah, for now, it's just chilling. This is my MVM scout loadout. I try to keep all my MVM loadouts on tab D, um, just so I know where they are for easy access. And yeah, this is what I'm running for MVM. This probably won't have changed since last year. I'm still rocking this little, little look. Um might change in the future depending on what cosmetics obviously but for now i'm happy with this you know it gets the job done and i'm doing with it lovely stuff and then with the soldier this is the main loadout now this will have changed i believe since last year i'm not sure how drastically probably pretty drastically if i if i can remember right i can't remember when the shooting stars um effect came out though so this might be similar to last year i'm not sure but what i do know is this cosmetic the chaser is very different and it's one of my favorite cosmetics of the year because it's just a lovely soldier coat i'm a big big fan of that we've got the bot killer rocket launcher um server clearing so that would have definitely leveled up um just that godlike kill streak video alone boosted it drastically the festive shotgun which i've had for a very long time and an escape plan because it's my favorite soldier melee and yeah this loadout is pretty much the same as it was last year there we go this is my secondary soldier loader i guess it's pretty much the same as the first same weapons just a different skin on the rocket launcher yeah I'm, I, I don't know i'm not i'm not sure why i don't experiment with soldier loadouts if i find one i like i'm just going to use it sometimes we'll change out the weapons but for the most part it does look exactly the same and i think i've got a nice little loadout going here i'm not sure about the shoulder guard but for now it looks good so we're just going to stick with it um, and i'm a big fan of the classified coif as well very cool soldier cosmetic i mean it's, it's pretty much the same as the first one just with a different liquor paint <laughs> hmm it's just the same loadout again yeah maybe i should experiment with soldier loadouts in 2023 maybe that's something i'll look at doing but this is my hail zone loadout so i i barely touch this as it is um, I haven't done a Hail Zone video in a while because the, the jump between kills is getting a lot bigger. So for now, it's going to stay like this. Shotgun and then escape plan as well. That should be a strange, to be fair. Brilliant. In a bit of a change from my soldier loadouts is the MVM loadout. I don't think it would have changed that much from last year. I think it's just a different black box, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is what I'd be rocking for MVM if I play some soldier. I think it's pretty decent. I probably will switch out the Lumbricus lid at some point because while it is cool and i do like the uh, the reference 
it doesn't really fit the vibe I'm going for with my MVM loadout, so this might change in the new year, but for now, it's, it's fine. It just does the job I need it to do. Sometimes I'll switch out the banner for like the uh, conch or the, the backup, whatever the mission requires. And obviously, as with MVM loadout, got a little robo cosmetic in there just for the little... Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with these loadouts. I do need to experiment with more weapons though. I didn't think it'd be that bad. To be quite honest, I have not played much Pyro this year, as in compared to other classes. But this is what we'll be rocking. We got the Australian Flamethrower. As you can see, I've not used it much. Only 97 kills. Uh, we'll work on that in the new year for sure. Shotgun again, and then the Cheddar Chopper. I do enjoy the Australian weapons, as you, if you can see. This hasn't changed since last year, I don't think. The uh, Purple Energy Hannaman's Handle, the Binoculars, and the Dead of Night. I think that is all the same. I am thinking whether I should change it up and if the right cosmetic comes out next year then I will change it up um, but for now I'm, I'm happy with this loadout. You know I think the binoculars are an amazing cosmetic. <laughs> they just add a, a brilliant look to my pyro which you know you can't really get with other cosmetics. You know this is my first pyro loadout. It's, it's, it's a bit of a mess but you know it, it does the job. <laughs> it's cursed and that's what I needed. So we've got the Frogistinator, very cool, probably one of the first ranges I ever received actually, um, well received, I, I bought off the marketplace. Yeah, um, I don't really use the Frog anymore, it's not that good for Flamethrower, I did back in the day when I got this, but I've moved on, I've evolved and seen the light. And then we've got my Scorcher as well, definitely one of the first ranges I ever owned. Yeah, it's, it's taking a backseat to the shotgun, because the shotgun is more um, versatile than a flare gun I think. It's definitely more useful when fighting other pyros. Um, I actually love the shotgun man, such a good weapon. And then the Shaman Volcano Fragment, which I believe is the best pyro melee in the game. Shame it can't have a strange form. If it did have a strange form, I'd be using that over the um, extinguisher for sure. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't, so I can't. Yeah, just some just some cursed cosmetics that I thought looked funny. And this is my secondary pyro loadout. It's definitely one I use a bit less than the, the main one, of course. Uh, the Quack Canvas Flamethrower. Sometimes this is the Degreaser, which I've renamed to MOT Failure. Just I have I have a gold gun now, so why would I use the de Degreaser? But this has definitely been my main flamethrower for a long while, as you can see by the kills. And this is kind of like a little um, little like dandy sort of pyro loadout. I'm not sure. I just think all the cosmetics work nice together. I think, yeah, I think it's a nice little pyro loadout. Looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. And moving on to the MVM loadout. This is like the World War One esque pyro loadout. I think it looks very cool. All these cosmetics work really well together. Um, and yeah, it's perfect for fighting robots. We've got the Flog, which, you know, you get them crits for the tanks. If I'm not fighting a tank, however, I will just switch to the Nostromo Napalmer. And then the Gas Passer, you know, explode on kill. Perfect in that medics and the power jack for that little speed boost. I've broke my rule of having one robo cosmetic on an MVM loadout because this loadout looks so cool and I think any robo cosmetic would ruin it. So you know, I've let myself off there because this looks very, very cool. I'm happy with this loadout. It's one of my favourites. Then moving swiftly onto a class I rarely play is Demo Man. This is probably my primary loadout. Really, it changes a lot. But the cosmetics stay the same. We've got the Strange Iron Bomber with only 7 kills. Uh, a testament to how much I play Demo Man. The Quick Bomb Launcher I've used a bit more because I've had a bit longer. I think it's my favourite Sticky Bomb Launcher. But again, I don't really play Demo Man. And then the Horseless Headless Horseman's Head Taker. Which is a very cool item. It looks cool. It says words sometimes. Uh, I'm sold. This is my sort of like night loadout I guess. If I want to play some cool Demo Knight. This is how I dress up. We've got the booters. Um, sometimes they change, mostly they don't. Titan, I think it's the best shield in the game. I know um, your charge reduces if you get damaged, but who cares? This is a weapon I don't think I've used that in a video before. It's the Professional Killstreak Islander. Now this cost me quite a bit for a weapon that I don't use that much. But I have a plan to use it in a video in the new year. I just haven't recorded it yet. I think it's very cool. I'm a big fan of it. I just really want to make sure I got the Man of the Seven Seas in this loadout because it is one of my favourite Demo Man hats of all time. Little Pirate Man um, with my Quack Canvas Lock and Load, Titaner again, and then Ullapool Caber because funny Caber. And finally, my MVM loadout. I, again, I don't play Demo Man a lot. Even in MVM, I'd rather play a different class, but this is what we were rocking. No Robo Cosmetic because I didn't think any Robo Cosmetic really worked. I wanted something that's like, oh, 
he deals with explosions, he takes a lot of damage, he needs to be booked up. And I feel like this sufficiently books up the demo man. So yeah, I think that's I think that's a decent demo man loadout. Again, I don't really play him, so you know what, he looks cool, he looks like he's ready to fight some robots, and he's protected while he's doing it, so cool. And then moving on to heavy. Now this is a loadout I do want to change. I'm gonna preface it by saying that. This has been my heavy loadout for a minus the Mushanka quite a while. And while I do like it, I feel like I need to change something different change up the heavy loadout but I've not, I haven't got around to it so leave any suggestions in the comments if you have any. Be rocking the Mr. Cuddles, my favourite minigun, uh, probably more favourite than an Australian one if I had one because I just love the skin so much. And then Hunter Heavy, just a cool heavy cosmetic, the Jungle Booty, funny, and the Mushanka, also funny but again I do want to change this loadout up a bit so it's not going to stay like this for a long time. We'll see what next year brings, I think that's a lot of my loadouts are like Oh, we'll see if next year brings any good cosmetics and then we'll work it out from there. This is my secondary heavy loadout. I do not use it nearly as much as I probably should, but Gold Bot Killer Mark II. I just like the gold NG head, to be honest. We've got the Soviet scatter gun, you know, my uh, strange family business from my Fat Scout times. I like it. I like the family business. I don't use this loadout much though, so it just stays there and kind of rots. And then the frying pan, because it's the frying pan. The thanks Shiryuki Chan, my first ever unusual, so I've I gotta commemorate it somehow, so I stick it on this loadout. You know, it's an item I'll cherish for a very, very long time. And then move on to the third loadout. This is my Donald Trump <laughs> heavy loadout. It's a it's a callback to that video I was in on Pyro Joe's channel, the loadout battle I think it was, or the one key loadout, whatever it was called. Yeah, it's a heavy Donald Trump, you know? funny vibes and then probably the uh, heavy loadout I use the most my MVM heavy loadout and this has changed because it's got a new cosmetic well, it's got two new cosmetics actually I got an unusual polar bear um, I was like you know what I love playing heavy in MVM I'm gonna buy an unusual just stick on my MVM loadout bish bash bosh then we've got the heavy heating which I think is a beautiful heavy cosmetic it was in the latest case works really well with the polar bear as well I'm very happy with this MVM loadout I think it's my best MVM loadout um, up there with the pyro of course but they're both very very good in my opinion and again no robo cosmetic because i don't think any robo cosmetic would work like you've got the ukranka but that wouldn't look as good as the polar bear you know and then we're going to engineer you know texas build man and this is a loadout that changed really recently too with the underminers overcoat coming out um i decided to keep it i recently tweaked it a bit so it's got the hat with no name on as well and then shotgun and kappa very cool items yeah this is just probably at the moment my most used engineer loadout if i'm going into a um if i'm going to a game and i want to play some engineer this shotgun specifically i use it on as many loads as i can <laughs> as you've seen i use it on pretty much all my soldier soldier loadouts <laughs> this is what i'd be rocking for the uh for the look you know i think it looks pretty cool and then this is my secondary ng loadout gets a bit of use every now and then um widow maker will be pretty much changed out for any different ng primary if i'm honest it's a very cool way of doing like a robo cosmetic having the robot head be the main bit of the wrench i thought it was very cool so that's why i'm rocking it then we've got the sophisticated smoker the egghead overalls and the idea tube i think they make a very nice very cohesive looking engineer loadout in my opinion you may think differently um but yeah i like the look of it he's a smoker he's got a little beer belly and he's got his ideas pretty cool i think this is also probably my main ng loadout it's, i haven't used it much recently but it's the one i'd say is like my ng loadout so it's the shotgun the pistol and the jag it's an upgraded default ng in my opinion uh haven't used it much in recent times i must admit you don't really see many hats with this nice effect on it at the, in, anymore so yeah i'm happy with the timeless topper and then the gold digger very cool ng beard used by a lot <laughs> of ngs but it is a good cosmetic so you can see why and then the dead of night just because it looks cool and i have a strange one and then this is the mvm loadout this changed actually so it's changed since last year i had had the same ng loadout for so long and then last year i changed it and then this year it's changed again yeah this is what we're rocking we've kept with the robo theme on this one we've got the tin gallon painted brown just like the 10 gallon which i also have painted brown um, just for a bit of continuity between the two um, and then we've got the Western Wraps, which I thought was a brilliant looking NG cosmetic. And I think it works well with this sort of like robot cowboy sort of type beat. And then the Scotch Saver for a nice little beard. Yeah, I think it looks cool. I'm happy with how he looks, you know. 
I think I've really overhauled the previous um, MVM loadout for this guy. It's just that I really want to use the Pip Boy, but I don't want to lose any of these cosmetics because they all work so well. So yeah, I'm at an impasse there, and we're gonna have to go without the Pip Boy for now. But if there was a way to get the Pip Boy, maybe as a different PDA or as a fourth cosmetic slot, which won't happen, but I can dream. Then yeah, I'd be all for it. But for now, this is what we're rocking: the little Robo Cowboy Man. And this is my medic loadout. Now it does give World War One German vibes, but it looks cool, so we'll let it slide. Scourge of the Sky is one of the best medic coats out there. Um, they recently added another cool one, but this one is very, very cool. Big fan of it, even though it does give World War One German vibes. Then the Blighted Beak, goated medic cosmetic. There aren't many medic cosmetics that do a better job of looking cool than this one and the pickle hub because it looks cool painted white fits the medic theme bosh this is the loadout i've stuck the australian medigun on never use it never use this loadout it looks very cool i think to myself i should be using this because i love the star wars cosmetic but i just can't be bothered like this has zero points because i've never used it and i bought it with the intention of using it but it just looks a bit weird like i love star wars snow troopers very cool but i just for some reason i don't like this cosmetic um, but it does work well in this set, to be fair. Um, but I don't play Medic much as is anyway, so... The, the first loadout barely sees the light of day, let alone this one. Looks a bit cooler. Very similar loadout to the previous one. But this one looks a lot cooler. Especially because the Wooly Pulley, this style that they included, is phenomenal. Looks so good. It makes me want to play Medic a bit more. <laughs> uh, maybe get some stats on my Medi gun. And finally, the MVM loadout has been changed recently um it's not fully finalized what i'm gonna be rocking you know he's beaten and bruised because he's been fighting robots all the time ironwood crusaders crossbow should probably change this to the uh, night owl but it looks cool like that anyway the vintage Chris creek because if it's got blue text it's cooler than a normal Chris creek and then the vintage ubersaw because again blue text equals cooler and strangers don't track robot kills unless you've got the specific strange part so yeah, I don't really need it. I play Medic a fair a fair bit. I say a tiny bit. I don't I really don't want to be playing Medic. It's a lot of responsibility and I don't want that. But if I am required to play Medic, I will. It, it has a fair fair bit of use out of it. You know, if I'm feeling like using the Huntsman, I will. The Festive Huntsman. One of the coolest festive weapon designs back when they were unique. And yeah, I like it. It's very, very fun to use. You know, we've got the Five Month Shadow painted grey. Very cool. Cos I like how it paints as well. It doesn't paint the whole beard. It just paints like the little bits down to here, which I think is a very nice touch, I guess. Then the Jarments as well for the Jurati. I think, you know, it works. It's, um, it's, it makes sense. And then the Crocodile Dandy as well, because it's a very cool sniper jacket. And I didn't want to just use it for that one um sydney sleeper video so i decided to keep it on this loadout you know it could be like a crocodile hunter or something some sort of vibe but yeah i like it and this is my main sniper loadout i don't really play sniper that much but this is what i'd be rocking if i do we've got the hitman's heat maker my favorite sniper with a very edgy name the razorback i just have it on me all the time just in case just so i don't have to be actively listening for spies it's mainly just the razorback just to keep me you know safe don't know why it doesn't display here but whatever then the shiv as well i think it's my favorite sniper melee you know they get the bleed as well which can be very useful for tracking spies or just finishing someone off now this loadout changes quite a bit it's mainly the sniper which changes sometimes it's the machina sometimes it's the classic sometimes it's the bizarre bargain sometimes it's the sydney sleeper it's whatever i feel like using at that time i do want to get a shooting star though to replace the machina the look is set i'm sold on this look it will not be changing for a long long time i don't think the professionals yushanka i don't even know this is a limited one i got it but it is very cool sniper cosmetic um and i think it works really well with the starduster uh, again beautiful sniper cosmetic one of the best we've got i just love the vibes of it i think it works really well with the yushanka and then the final frontiersman which i've had for a very long time i can't remember how i got it i think it was an unbox but yeah i think it works really well with this sort of like futuristic sniper guy futuristic assassin sort of character that's going on with this loadout so you know i lean into it with the machina but again i want a shooting star to really finalize that loadout and finally the mvm sniper um if i were to play sniper mvm this is how i would be uh, lining up he's like a well let's say vietnam type era soldier cold war era i guess um the shiv and the heat maker i think they're the best snipers to use in MVM if I'm not mistaken I could be completely wrong I haven't 
looked into the Sniper MVM meta, but this is what I'd be rocking. I'd never play Sniper anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the Head Hedge and the Handsome Hitman give me those like Vietnam vibes and the Jarments are just there. Because again, I'm using Jurati. Cosmetics I would change, like maybe the Hunting Cloak, but again, they're two different vibes, so probably not. Probably stick with the, um, the Jarments, to be honest. And finally, the class I know has changed the most, Spy. Now, I love the Spy cosmetics. He has so many good cosmetics, it's hard to make just four loadouts for him. But this is what I'd be rocking. This is the main loadout. The big kill because it is, it's just a comically large revolver and it's very funny. For cosmetics, we've got a hat to kill for. Um, one of my favourite Spy hats. It's got a nice brim. Uh, the Glamorous Reader's Choice. Again, they might change in the near future, but for now they work well, so they're going to stay. And then the Turncoat, which... I love. Spy got really nice with coat cosmetics recently. I'm not sure who is the who's the fan of Spy in that in that like um, the the, com the committee that pick cosmetics. But I say committee, it's probably one guy. Um, but who, they're probably a Spy fan. But the, judging by the cosmetics the Spy's been getting, and the turncoat is no different. It's a wonderful Spy coat and trousers, I guess. But it looks wonderful. Big big fan of it. It took a lot to change the lurkers leathers, but Spy got nice recently and. It's paid off. My first loadout is just the observer meme. I want to keep it, just observing. Sometimes I do go on a server and just observe, but you know the meme's kind of dead now. So we would shoot. They shot me anyway, but they just shoot you. So it doesn't get a lot of use. But hey, could be fun to use with that computer taunt that we recently got. This is my secondary spy loadout. Weapons change a lot, but I do like how he looks. The hat is a bit silly. It looks a bit silly. It looks a bit goofy. So we might change that out at some point, but I don't really play Spy as it is, and I'm not really playing the secondary Spy loadout as anyway, so he can look a bit goofy. The main purpose for this loadout is to use the Tactical Turtle Neck in a loadout, and I think this looks really nice. Um, again, I'm not sure about the hat, but as a loadout, this looks good. And then my MVM, quote-unquote, Spy loadout is this. I wanted a good loadout for MVM, even though I don't play MVM Spy at all. But I think what I've picked looks nice anyway. Like the main purpose of the loadout was to look good. And I think this does. It's the cold blooded coat, which I think was the most recent spy coat. It looks very nice. Plus, you can wear it with the turncoat and it doesn't really clip all that much. So it looks lovely. Um, you are covering up, you know, the cuffs and uh, maybe of the design of the cold blooded coat, but it looks nice nonetheless. And then I've gone with the deep cover operator as the third cosmetic probably doesn't really matter because I rarely use this loadout but yeah if I were to play MVM it'd probably be this loadout and he's got he's got the diamond back so you know it's pretty cool but I know it's changed from last year for sure I know it has a spy I think it's probably the class that's changed the most just due to in the last two updates how many nice cosmetics he got so yeah this is how my backpack be looking you may notice I've got a lot more free slots than I've had and that's because I sold pretty much all my MVM parts on scrap.tf for some metal and some keys so it's freed up a lot of backpack space realistically i wasn't you going to be using all those robot parts anyway if i was i could just buy them but this is how i'd be looking lots of ref lots and lots of ref jesus christ i didn't realize i had this much some festivizers you know they're pretty cool um i've tried to just keep it to kill street kits that i want i've got a lot of professionals that i should probably get rid of but you know they're there Got some cool kill streak kits, you know, a ham shank, that's pretty cool. Or hand, that's pretty cool. So yeah, a couple of cool shooting star as well. I'm keeping hold of these like big money ones. It's just ones for like rare weapons and stuff. Um, I'm keeping hold of those in case I decide to use them. <laughs> some beta passes as well. Competitive matchmaking pass, worthless item. Beta pass, pretty cool. Gone from Grizz. And then I had two invites that I never gave out. But hey, they're a pretty cool item to have now. Um, some strange parts I've yet to apply. Um, some I do want to use, but I'm not sure what to use them on. Quite a few keys. Um, the Medigun, I'd have a lot more keys. <laughs> Loads of gifted ports, quite a few paints as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot all these quick fixes. <laughs> Thanks Matt for all these quick fixes. But yeah, that's been my 2022, end of 2022 TF2 loadout video. I do it every year because I like to see how my loadouts have changed. I know some won't have, but I know some have for sure. So it's going to be interesting to see as I'm editing this, like the different comparisons and how um, how they changed. But yeah, I'm excited to see what cosmetics we get next year. I'm hoping for some good ones because the level we ended on this year has been very good. So hopefully they can pick up 
again next year with a very very high level cosmetics and just hope and pray that we get a major update however unlikely that may be i'll see you guys in the next video peace hey, oh, uh, uh, i've been up for like two hours two hours yo bitch can food took a few showers few showers i don't buy just money dance yeah that wristwatch costs a hundred grand